what's up and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a full face using ColourPop and I'm really excited because I personally enjoy watching these types of videos so I hope you enjoy it as well so I did pick up a few things from ColourPop's website a couple weeks ago um, I do have the new complexion collection so I'm really excited to try that out and then a few other things I got because Alyssa Ashley and ColourPop were having a collab so all of her favorites were 20% off so I got a few more things that looked really kind of exciting and things that I wanted to try so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started but if this is your first time here please click the subscribe button because I would love to see you in my next video so yeah let's go ahead and get started okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the foundation and the shade that I picked up is dark 155 and I hope this is a match and I'm just gonna put two pumps on the back of my hand and then use my sponge and just go in I liked how on the website there were a lot of options in shade ranges and undertones and things like that so it is a little bit helpful I just felt like there were so many shades that could have worked for me so I tried to um, kind of shade match myself with people with a similar skin tone that I was watching like reviews on and stuff sorry I just spit um, so I hope this matches because I feel like I could have also worn the shade lighter and possibly even the shade darker so I kind of just went for whichever one was in the middle and yeah, this was that. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more pump and finish the rest of my face. All right, so I'm gonna take another pump. So this is my fourth pump. So I do like the way that the foundation feels. It does feel really lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my skin, but I'm not really getting that whole like full coverage. So I'm gonna try just a little bit more and I feel like this is kind of overkill, but I don't know. I felt like a lot of people were saying like, like the coverage was really there and maybe it's just like around certain areas of my face where I have like hyperpigmentation, but I just don't feel like there's much coverage. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So I'll just have to like layer it a little bit extra on my problem areas of my skin. I think that if I color correct before using this foundation, I'll like it even more, but I do really like it. It's nice and lightweight. Okay, so now to highlight, I'm going to take the no filter concealer and this is in the shade 36. If you are somebody who watches my videos regularly you know that I use this just about every time I do my makeup because this concealer is bomb okay so now to set everywhere that I applied the concealer I'm gonna take the no filter loose setting powder and I got this in the shade banana I think it recommended deep for me but I wanted to use banana to set my face And first I'm just kind of pressing it into the skin and then whatever excess there is I'm just going to wipe away okay so the next product that I have is the pressed powder and I picked up the shade deep dark because I'm gonna try to use this as like a light contour Right, the next product that I picked up actually broke on its way here so I'm trying not to like tilt it too much because it's totally loose in there but it is the super shock cheek blush and this is in the shade highly wasted so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that plop that pop that onto my cheeks okay so I might be wrong I'm not sure if this is a blush or a highlight because I'm getting like highlight vibes and not so much blush vibes so I'm gonna have to double check so you know what that's gonna bother me I'm gonna do that right now okay so I was wrong this is a highlighter I didn't get a blush are you kidding me okay so the next product that I have is the precision brow pencil and I picked up the shade bangin brunette so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and I will be right back okay so I love that brow pencil I absolutely love it I think it's a little bit dark okay so moving on to the eyes I'm gonna take the perception palette which is the collab with makeup Shayla and I haven't used this in a while and I really do love the colors in this palette so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade culture and put that into my crease I still can't get over like how good that brow pencil was you guys like that is freaking awesome and I think it was only like five or six bucks so it's definitely worth it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Revenge, which is like a deeper burgundy color, and I'm gonna deepen the crease. 
All right, and for my lid, I'm gonna take the shade Thick, which is a really pretty bright orange. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the Super Shock Powder and then use that under my brow bone and a little bit in my inner tear duct. All right, and I'm just gonna take Revenge and Thick and blend that underneath my lower lash line. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the eyes with some mascara. I don't have a mascara from ColourPop, and I don't even know if they have one, but I will definitely check, and if they do, I will insert a picture. Okay, so for lips, I picked up an ultra glossy lip, and this is in the shade Secret, yeah, Secret Weapon. Okay, so here's the lip on. It's really, really pretty. It's a lot more pigmented than I thought, being that it is a gloss. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more sheer, but it is really, really nice, and it's comfortable. It's not sticky. And yeah, so before I end this video, I did want to talk about the complexion products because this was my first time using them. And starting off with the foundation, I really like this shade. I feel like the shade is a really good match. Um, it feels really lightweight. I don't feel cakey and I don't feel like I have four pumps of it on my skin, which is always good. But the coverage, I feel like, is medium to full. It's definitely buildable, but with the first two pumps that I applied to my skin, I could still see a lot of my hyperpigmentation, but going over it with another pump or, you know, half a pump, it did cover that, so that was nice. The next product that I used was the Loose Setting Powder. This one, I feel like I'm a little bit on the fence about because... One, I think that the shade is just not good for me. I got it in banana. Um, and I feel like to set my whole face, it would be really, really nice. But as far as setting my under eye goes, it was just a little bit too dark. I was thinking about getting the translucent one, but I just decided on banana. So I feel like the translucent may be a better match for me just to set you know, my under eye because I feel like it kind of canceled it out and I do like a brighter under eye. So, um, but yeah, I felt like the powder is really fine. It's really nice. It's easy to, you know, set into the skin and it makes it look really flawless wherever you're, you know, wherever you're applying it. Um, I just feel like I would like to try it in a different shade. And then lastly, I have the pressed powder and I did get this in the shade Deep Dark and used it for my contour. And I feel like this was really nice. Um, it is sheer, like it says, so it's a light layer, but you can build it up. I did build it a little bit more to get like a deeper contour, um, but it was easy to blend. It was really nice. And I think I would actually try this in my shade, which I think is just dark, if not medium, I can't remember. But yeah, I would like to see um, how this works to set my entire face. I am a little bit partial when it comes to um, my face powders because I love my Sephora Micro Smooth, but I feel like I would be willing to try this one in my shade to set my face. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these types of videos and want to see more, then definitely hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't don't miss my next upload. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.